Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Michael's Diamond World. And today, I am going to be working on the music shop. You can see it right over there behind the, uh, the dog house. I uh, worked on it a little bit off camera. I got all the walls and the ceiling done. So it's now ready to work on the inside. And that's what I'm going to be working on today is uh, building the inside. One of the things I wanted to do today was build the floor. Now, last episode, I built the roof with kind of like this checkered pattern. And I've changed it up a little bit. You can kind of see it from over here where it's kind of like half solid and half like checkerboard. I'll show you what it looks like when we get over there. Uh, but first, we need to pick a dog to take with us today. Today's dog is going to be Chester. Where's Chester at? Here he is. So let's go ahead and grab Chester. And let's head over to the music shop so I can show you what I've done off camera. Alright, so here is the music shop. Uh, as you can see, I've completed the wall on this side and I've done the back wall as well. I've also changed the ceiling a little bit. Oh, wait, left a hole up there. Uh, here, let's go patch that up real quick with some jungle wood. But the idea for this was to try and recreate a jukebox. And I completely forgot that I was going to put the little, like, disc slot at the top here. So, off camera, I decided I'm going to just change this entire thing into just solid jungle wood. And then put the wool down for the little disc slot. And then over here, for where we're going to have kind of like the dance club, I've decided to go with the same alternate pattern of jungle wood and then the dark oak. Uh, which I moved some dark oak trees over here so that I can hopefully get some more dark oak. I think we're good on jungle wood. There's a lot of it right there. Uh, and there's also another small tree over there. And I've got a whole stack. So I think we're pretty much good on jungle wood for now. I just have to get some more dark oak. But today what I wanted to do is I wanted to get this area here blocked up. Uh, so that we've got a wall. And I think I'm going to go with the same pattern as like all the other walls. And just stick with that. Uh, so let's go up here. And I'm just going to build the same exact thing that I've got uh, for all the other walls here. And the easiest way to do this pattern is just to go three uh, like dark oak blocks. And then you do a jungle block like that. So you do three of these. One jungle. And then another three, and then this side's all going to be jungle like that. And then the next pattern, after you do that layer, is one jungle wood, one dark wood, and you just keep alternating back and forth between these. And then after you get to the next layer, you go up and you start, it's right here. You do the three dark, and then you do your one jungle wood. And then that's pretty much the entire pattern. You just keep going between those two and that's kind of how you build this wall it's pretty simple you just have to get the pattern down and then when you get up to the top that's where you have to like start using the scaffolding so that you can climb up and get the top bit all right so there is the wall done uh the one thing that i did realize is down here i need to put more of my gray wool because right now i've got uh, the dark oak planks, but I need to replace it with the gray wool. Alright, so I went and got some wool from the sheep. I got enough to finish this, and I've got some extra. I don't know if I'm going to need that for anything, but I've got 32 extra. The next thing that I want to do is build the floor. Now, what I'm going to do for the floor is pretty much the same thing that I originally did for the ceiling here, but I'm going to do it on the ground. So let's go ahead and grab my shovel here. And hopefully there's not really too many holes down here. Yeah, there's uh, a huge hole right underneath here. Oh, and there's water. That's great. Okay. Um, well, let's see if I can get Chester to go outside while I break the entire floor. So Chester, can you come out here? Okay, so I've cleared out the entire floor. So now what I have to do is go through and put in all the wood. 
So I'm just going to go through and alternate uh, the different colors of wood here. And then as soon as the floor is done, I can get started with figuring out what I'm going to do for lights. And also, I can start building uh, like the shop area. So I'm going to have a place where I display all of the different music, which I kind of want to hang it up on the walls. So all the walls are going to have like music discs around. And then we'll have like a little shop area, maybe like in this corner uh, where we'll have like the register where you can check out. And that's what I'm going to be building today. But first, I got to get this floor done. Okay, so I've almost got the floor done here. I just have a few more blocks. And there we go. That is the floor done. It's apparently nighttime. Oh, great. That's a creeper. Uh, let's just uh, get rid of the creeper and then head the bed. Let's get chests to stand up. Let's head the bed. And then in the morning, I got to figure out lights. Because the problem with the building is that the ceiling is really tall. So I can't put lights up there because they're not going to uh, reach the floor and actually light up the place. So I'm going to have to either put torches on the walls like this. Or I can get some chains and like hang lanterns from the ceiling. Which might look pretty cool. Because I've never really used the chains. Oh right. Or the lanterns for like a build. Uh, so I want to try that. Also why is her tail really low? What happened to Chester? Um, let's get you healed up. I don't have any food. So let's stop by the doghouse real quick and get Chester some food. And then I need to make some lanterns along with some chains. So let's head back and let's set up these lanterns. Hopefully this is going to be enough to light up the entire area. Because the lanterns are pretty strong. So I think this should be good. I'm definitely going to have to make a bunch of redstone lamps for the next section for like the, uh, the dance club. I'm not sure if I've got enough stuff to do that, uh, but we'll find out uh, when I build that next episode. Uh, so let's go up here and let's start building these lamps. So first I got to figure out a good spot to put these. So I think the best way to start this is to go two blocks away from each wall. So this over here, if we go and build the scaffolding out, this should be two blocks. Yeah, there's two blocks there, and there's two blocks on this side as well, if I go and build the scaffolding. Yeah, so there's two blocks on each side here, and then if I go three blocks along here, that should be a decent spot to put the lanterns. So let's see how this looks. Yeah, it matches up perfectly. So we got two on that side. So then over here, I need to do the exact same thing where we go two blocks on each side, which is right here. And then this is going to get removed. And then we're just going to put these in the exact same spot and see if they meet up. Hopefully they do, otherwise I'm going to have to move them around. Okay, so the lamps actually work perfectly. So now that I've got uh, the placement of the lamp set up, I can start putting down the chains because they're not going to be way up here in the ceiling because this is going to do nothing. So I have to go through and now replace all of these with the chains. So that I can bring these down to the bottom. And they should light up the entire area. Alright, so I don't actually have enough uh, chains to build all of the uh, lanterns right now. But I've got a few of them set up. And this is looking really good. So let's go ahead and get rid of all the scaffolding. And I just need three more. I didn't bring the iron with me. I might have some in my shulker boxes. Let's see, do we have any extra iron? I've got iron bars. That's not going to help. Yeah, I don't have any extra iron. So I'm not going to be able to finish the, uh, the lights right now. I'm going to have to go back and get some more iron and finish these. But at least you can kind of see what it's going to look like. This should give off enough light. It looks like it's doing a pretty good job. And they're high enough up to where... You can't really hit your head on them. 
So they're not like really low down, but they're low enough to where they light up everything. So now that those are done, I gotta figure out what kind of blocks I'm gonna be using as uh, kind of like the building blocks for all the different like shelves and also the counter. I think I'm gonna use uh, probably either oak or spruce wood because I've got a little bit of spruce in here. So I'm gonna use this. I was also going to use this, I think, for the stage as well. So I'm definitely going to have to get more spruce wood. I think this is going to be a really good block to use because it's not a jungle wood or dark oak. I could actually use oak wood. It might be a, another good one. But at least it's kind of like a, a darker block. But it's not as dark as like dark oak. So I'm going to set up this area right here. Uh, for the checkout area, I do want to get a stair as like the register. I'm not really sure which block they use for that. I might use jungle wood. Let's try jungle wood. I'm actually going to move one of these crafting tables inside so that I don't have to keep coming out here. Alright, so here's our jungle stairs. Let's go ahead and put one down right here. And I could actually put a second one in uh, where Chester's at. You could put two of these. So that way we have two checkout areas. And then I'm going to extend this out one more block. So if I go and grab my spruce wood, I can go one more block out like this. And then I'm going to get... Oh, I got rid of the crafting table. I'm going to go ahead and put a trap door in. I'm just going to go with uh, the spruce trap doors. So that way it blends in with this and of course it goes the wrong way. Okay, let's go and put it down like that. There we go. So this is how you get in and out. And then on the, all of the walls here, I'm going to decorate them with item frames. I don't know if I've got any item frames like already made. I do have some leather. It's not going to be enough, but I can at least make one item frame. I've got plenty of sticks from all of the trees that I've been cutting down. So I can make one item frame and I can display the one music disc that I've got with me. So I'm going to put this up like right over here on the wall. And put it right there. Should be good. And then I also want to make, I'm going to get the oak wood that I've got. Oh, I've already got stairs made. All right, perfect. I'm going to use some of those. And let's just start with 24. I was going to make some more. But these are going to be for the shelves. So the way you make the shelves is you just put stairs on top of each other like this. And then you can put things on them. Uh, so I'm going to put a few shelves in here. I don't really have a lot of space. But I can put two shelves right here. I could put a shelf along the wall. Could be pretty cool. So let me get some more oak wood because I need uh, some more stairs. I don't think I've got any more stairs made. Yeah, I'm out of stairs. So let's go to make a few more stairs. I'm going to do uh, 28 stairs. Should be good enough. So I'm just going to build a shelf that goes along the wall here like this. And then I can put uh, the music discs on there. Uh, I need to go one more block on one of these sides or just cut that off so there we go i got a nice corner shelf there this area will just be open we've got the counter area over here where you can check out and then this area over here i could put another corner shelf in like this uh let's go ahead and fix this block uh the only thing is is now it looks odd because they're not the same length I could just do one shelf like this where it's just at the back wall. I also have to build the entrance to uh, the dance club, which uh, this is the middle of the store here. I kind of wanted it to be like a double door because the entrance is going to be right here. This is going to be the side entrance to get in from the side. So you go in from back here and then this is what I'm going to work on next episode is getting this done. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get a double door in here. I guess I could put one in. It's just probably going to look a little odd having a door. 
I let me make a door first of all because I don't actually have any doors So for the front door here, I'm gonna put a jungle door. I think that match is really good and then here I can either put two jungle doors back here is definitely gonna be the dark oak doors so I can either do two dark oak doors there and then do one dark oak door there or I could put two you know the two doors actually looks pretty good so we've got all of that put in I do want to switch this block out for jungle wood so if I can put this down I can have jungle wood there and then we'll put the door right there and then we'll just build like a path I got to get this road like all the way down here because right now it's uh, only going to here at the moment I've also got to get a path you know I could actually just get rid of the road entirely and just turn it into a path instead but there is the shop we got a nice path leading to it and then inside we've got our shelves eventually I'm gonna get some more music discs I'm gonna move this one so that's not up here I'm gonna put it on the shelf somewhere here we'll put it on the shelf and then eventually I'm gonna get a bunch more music discs in here but I think this is looking really good I just have to finish the lamps I just need three more of those and then in here I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do the lights because I'm gonna have like a, a light up floor and I'm gonna have them flashing so I'm gonna need to get either the entire floor is going to be redstone lamps or I'm just gonna put uh, some redstone lamps in and then maybe do the rest with glowstone or something I'm not sure how I'm gonna do it just yet but that's gonna be next episode so I'm gonna go and end the episode here so make sure to leave a like and to subscribe thanks for watching and I will see you next time goodbye everybody